All right, well, I think I have a solution for the rat's nest issue that we have with ground radials all the time, especially if you're using it to go portable. So uh, my solution is based on what I've learned with hanging wire antennas, uh, cord management is critical. 15 radials that I'm working with. I'm cutting them for 20 meters. Get the ring terminals crimped and soldered on this uh, coil here. And uh, we'll hang it back up on the fence. Cut it exactly to the right length. Santa came early this year. And we'll just do a... I've never done an unboxing before. So this is new for us all. What do we got here? Oh, oh it's heavy. Oh, oh, what do we got here? Oh, it comes with a thank you card. Look at that. Mark Richards sends a thank you note. That's really nice. I'm liking it already. So this is a metal... Oh, quarter inch? No, three sixteenths. Pretty stout and pretty heavy metal. This is the quad hands, quad hands soldering table. So we got these deals here. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm a, I'm a professional unboxer. Watch this, I cut my fingers open. So here we go. Look at that. Hey, this is a nice product. I was afraid these alligator clips were going to be too small. But yeah, these will do nicely, so... Magnetic right on the table there, and it comes with one, two, and three large ones. All right, let's see what the large ones look like. Merry Christmas, everybody! Oh, yeah, here we go. This is going to be nice. Look at that. Got plenty of these things. I think all I need is two. I don't know. I don't think I need these rubber deals. I don't believe I need these, but they may come in handy. I don't want to melt them. This is pretty neat. Yeah. So third hand soldering bench. Can you see all that together? That's really cool. And thank you. Back at you there, Mark Richards. I did not waste my money on that one. I'll put a link down below if you're interested. Let's get busy on the soldering. That much off. This is a uh, tinned copper. It's not exactly the cheapest wire on the planet, but uh, it's not the most expensive either. I got this online at, uh, I don't know, I think it was like wire warehouse or something like that. So, okay, so that's the ends there. Let's throw some heat shrink on there so I don't forget. Uh, we'll cut this in half. About half. Goodness, look at that. I'm, I am a dead eye. Throw this on. 
I already did this once before and I forgot to put this on. I had to cut it. That's okay. We made them about a foot long. Throw some solder in here. Man, that is solid. I'm impressed with this card. <laughs> I'm very impressed. All right. Oh, yeah. You guys see that? Yeah, frame it up a little bit better for you. Now, I've got a solution for these wires. Coiling these wires is going to be like a rat's nest. Crent soldered. This uh, heat shrink is not for any kind of weatherproofing. It's just to keep the wires uh, kind of tight together so when I'm out in the field, uh, they don't get too jacked up close to the ring terminals. That's it. So let's, uh, let's cut these to the proper length and... Uh, Get out to the field and test this antenna. There's plenty of room for perfection, but we've got the wires all cut to a half a wavelength for 20 meters. And the frequency I set it at was 14275. Yeah, the fence method worked okay to get you know, 15 wires out. And the measuring part, actually, it worked out pretty good. So, yeah, the fence, two screws, and a tape measure. All right, let's get this antenna out into the field and see how well it does. These kite reels I use with the slingshot deal. Holy crap, that was easy. These are simple kite reels, take up reels for flying kites. It works incredibly well. Loving it.